Hey everybody, welcome back to the Statistical Trader YouTube channel. Diamond with you here, and today we're gonna to talk about Elon Musk's Twitter feed. Let's go. This past month has been absolutely crazy in the markets. I mean, the GameStop short squeeze, the AMC movements, the media, the attention, the trading disturbances by Robinhood, actually not Robinhood only, all of the brokers across the board were disturbing, just Robinhood is the one taking the bullet, but these things, then the dog coin rally, everything happening so crazy, a lot of people making a lot of money, a lot of people losing a lot of money. All of this attention to the markets has driven a lot of people, a lot of new people, a lot of unprofe unprofessional money to the market. Um, and I don't know if it's this unprofessional money, if it's the Wall Street Bets Forum, which has gotten, I think, uh, additional 6 million followers in, these, in this last month. Um, and, you know, their guidance is what they do there. Or is it just pure love that people seem to have for Ellen? but something has caused a new edge to develop in the markets and this edge probably has been around for a short while before i picked up on it but basically ellen's twitter feed is a great edge to trade and being a quantitative trader the only thing i can do when i find an edge i want to test it and i want to test it by placing money on it and if this edge is a twitter feed and i don't want to be late to the party when the tweet happens when he tells something and I don't want to be monitoring his feed all the way uh, all across the Atlantic you know when I'm sleeping I don't want to be monitoring his feed whatever he's gonna say to buy next so naturally the following progression is hey let's create a trading bot and that's exactly what I did and that's exactly what I want to share with you in this video I'm giving this trading bot away for free Anybody can use it. Uh, just go to the link uh, that you see here. The same link is in the description below. Go to the Diamond Strategies website. You can download this bot, download the program. It's Everything is absolutely free. Uh, you just place the bot in your program. I give all, the, all of the configuration. I'm gonna explain how the bot works in this video, uh, why it works that way, and you can use it. And that's it. All you all you need is actually an email account. You don't even need a brokerage account to run it. So yeah, so let's get going. First of all, I'm gonna explain how it functions. Second of all, I'm gonna show you in my computer how to run it, how to configure it, and and that's it. So yeah, let's go. So how the bot works, right? So we have a, tr a Twitter feed. We have tweets. Uh, inside those tweets are is information that we need to analyze. Inside that information, we need to find uh, pointers or, di or directions to buy or pro probably sell a certain asset. We don't do selling on this bot. We can, but I just chose intentionally not to, and I'll explain later why. So to buy a certain asset, so we need to figure out what, uh, you know, we need to find the keyword linking to an asset saying, hey, Bitcoin, for example, or Dogcoin or Etsy. Uh, we need to look for these keywords inside the tweets. When we find something of interest, we, you know, we start analyzing the tweet because we don't want to buy anything that he's dissing. You know, maybe he's uh, dissing a competitor, a car. You know, General Motors is <laughs> launching a flying Cadillac or whatever. I think so. Maybe he's, you know, uh, dissing something like that. We don't want to buy what he's. Uh, saying something negative on. So obviously when we find some keywords related to some stocks or some cryptocurrencies or whatever, we want to analyze what is he saying. So we're gonna uh, then use some artificial intelligence to do the sentiment analysis. So when we find uh, the keyword, it's a good positive tweet or at least the neutral tweet, uh, we wanna buy it and we want to send out an email to whoever is running the bot or you know just in a list of emails uh, just to notify them of hey i purchased this thing maybe you want to take a look if i didn't make any mistakes along the way because i mean it's it's a program artificial intelligence that's a cool buzzword but it's not really that intelligent when you think about it so it can definitely make some mistakes okay so basically having all of this flow in mind that's that's pretty much how it works so first of all um when you run the program when you run the algorithm it's going to run inside the diamond strategies program i'm going to show you how in just a second 
Inside the Diamond Strategies program, uh, the way strategies run is either bar-based or time-based executions, um, which are constantly looping forever until you stop the algorithm. So in this case, we're not really pulling any charts. We're not analyzing any charts. It's a Twitter feed. So this means that we're going to be running it on a time-based uh you know, on a, on a time basis. So every minute, every 10 minutes, every hour, whatever you feel you want to run, uh, whatever your computer is capable of, you know, just run it. I think one minute, way more than enough. Five minutes, probably the sweet spot, 10 minutes to half an hour is, hey, you're not gonna be late to the party that much if, you, you're, if you're, you know, buying after 10 minutes after he tweeted, because most of the people who will be buying, they will be buying by hand, not automatically. So, okay, so this execution cycle runs, say, every five minutes, if you configure it that way, which I'll show you how to do. Uh, inside the cycle, what the program does is, first of all, gets his Twitter feed, looks, for, second of all, looks for new tweets, uh, the, just the tweets that it didn't analyze before uh, in the previous uh, execution. Um, if it finds any new tweets, it goes ahead into the tweet, analyzes the text of the tweet and tries to find keywords. Now, how does it find these keywords? When you download the program, you will see I give you uh, kind of keyword files. Uh, so I have really focused on cryptocurrency, so that's more extensive. I also give you a stock keyword file, but that's, um, you know, you have to tweak on that. I will explain later, uh, but basically, in order to look for keywords, you will have to submit a CSV file to the program. Again, I'm gonna I'm gonna give it to you. I'm gonna show it to you just in a sec in a second. Uh, that keyword file contains two columns. First is uh, the instrument symbol, the ticker that you want to trade, and second is a list of semicolon separated keywords. So, for example, if he's uh, you know if I'm purchasing on Kraken. Bitcoin's ticker symbol on Kraken is XBT. The keywords he might use in a tweet is Bitcoin, uh, BTC. Probably that's pretty much it. Um, for Dogcoin, it's, uh, the ticker is XDG, I think, yeah. Uh, and the keywords might be XDG, might be Dogacoin, uh, might be just Dog, Doga, whatever, you know, however you pronounce it. Um, so you can configure that. It's a simple Excel spreadsheet. So, you know, go in there and whatever you think a keyword might be, a trigger word might be, just add it to, next to the symbol. So basically it loads in that symbol file into the list and when it finds new tweets, it's gonna go back into that file and look for, hey, is he saying anything else uh, uh, from this keyword list? And if he is, hey, what is the ticker symbol that I wanna be trading? What's related to this keyword? And that's how it's going to know what asset to trade when he finds something, uh, when the algorithm finds something in his tweets. Uh, next, as I mentioned, um, oh, actually, before uh, we progress, one more thing that he did and what we observed was actually a Bitcoin rally of, I think, 10 or maybe 15 percent a few uh, a week ago, probably, or maybe two weeks ago, uh, when he just simply changed his description to Bitcoin. And that's it. Nothing else. That all that's the only thing that caused a 15 percent move. So we also analyze his description. So next thing we're gonna do, hey, if we found any tweets, fine. If we didn't find any tweets, let's check out his description. Did he change the, his description in the last five minutes? If yes, we take a look at the text, same story, look for keywords. Whatever keywords we find inside tweets, inside the description, we bundle it into a list. We loop through that list later on in the execution cycle and we try to analyze the sentiment of the text that we located the keyword in. So this is obviously done as I explained. We don't want to buy anything since this algorithm is only buying. Uh, we don't want to buy anything that he is saying something negative about. So we employ a very simple artificial intelligence algorithm, a natural language processing algorithm to basically determine the sentiment of the sentence. And since these algorithms are usually pretty stupid, uh, what I do is if it gives me at least the slightest amount of negativity in the sentiment, 1% is enough, we will not buy it. But if we if we find something, uh, I will send you an email, actually not me, the algorithm will send you an email saying, hey, you know what, I found this tweet, I found this keyword, I'm not too sure about the sentiment, I think it's negative, but maybe you are a person, you're smarter than me, maybe you can check it out. So you'll get an email like that and you can act on it. So uh, we analyze the sentiment, 
if everything's okay, if the sentiment is positive or neutral without any negative uh, implications, it's gonna try to purchase the asset if you are running the algorithm in purchase mode. You can also run the algorithm, algorithm, I'm sorry, in the notification only mode, which will actually not be purchasing the asset, but will be sending you emails whenever something interesting happens, whenever he finds, the algorithm finds uh, an asset to purchase in his Twitter feed. So uh, if you're running it in trade mode, uh, you, by the way, can currently only run in trade mode on Kraken for cryptocurrencies. You can't do that. Uh, you can't do that for stocks just because the keyword file, I'm using the NASDAQ, uh, the NASDAQ listed securities as the keyword file, and I'm only using the ticker symbols. Uh, and I actually had to eliminate like tickers such as if or key or born just because these are words that could be normally used in a tweet and these don't signify a stock uh, or anything so <sighs> stock keyword list is pretty complicated if you want to run or analyze stocks your best bet is to have a small list of focused stocks that you might think he is talking about maybe tesla maybe you wanted to you know trade or buy tesla when he's talking about tesla so you know just create tsla ticker uh, with Tesla Model 1, Mod Model 3, Model S, whatever, you know, uh, you know, whatever keywords you want, and it's gonna notify you of that. I don't recommend you having all of that 4,000 symbols listed on NASDAQ that I will give you with the download. I don't recommend that. Um, so you can only run, again, trade mode in Kraken, uh, anything else is going to run. You, if you don't have Kraken, you know, you know, you can still run the algorithm. You will just have to make manual trades, but you can be notified on your email when we find that he's tweeting about Dogecoin again. So, okay. So the following steps we do is the algorithm is going to try either to purchase the security. If it does so, it's going to notify you of the purchase. If it doesn't do so, it's gonna notify you of, hey, I found this keyword in this tweet, take a look, maybe you wanna buy it. And that's pretty much it. We wait five minutes, we repeat the thing. So that's the story for the algorithm. Now let's go to my computer. I'm gonna show you how to run it inside your Diamond Strategies program and where to get it and how to... Actually, no, you know what? I'm not gonna show you how to import it because if you download it from the website, uh, again, link here and down below. If you download it from this website, uh, if you go to knowledge base, even if you click on learn how to use the algorithm here, you're gonna be directed into a page where you're gonna be able to figure out, there's a video that I did that explains how to import this algorithm into the Diamond Strategies program. It's five minute video nothing too long check it out i'm not going to explain how to import algorithms here so as you can see under strategies you see i have the papa musk twitter bot imported already so if you want to run it you go to the executor you select you know if you want to run in execution mode you select kraken if you want to run it in notification only mode doesn't matter what you select here this is only important for execution mode so i'm going to select in this case kraken this is the exchange we're going to be executing I select Papa Musk Twitter bot here from the strategy vendor and I choose Papa Musk Twitter strategy because that's the strategy. Now I select the portfolio. If I want to trade it, uh, this is important. If I don't want to trade it automatically, this doesn't really matter. It can be just whatever empty portfolio you create. Uh, so I'm going to select all euro based uh, currencies. So this is a portfolio that I'm going to show you. Um, this is a portfolio that contains every single cryptocurrency that is traded against the euro on Kraken. So I'm going to select that. I'm going to select execute every, uh, you know, one minute. Uh, actually, we can do five minutes as we discussed. And everything else doesn't really matter just because it doesn't follow the regular uh, execution patterns per se, uh, because again, we're not analyzing charts here. Uh, we are simply reading Twitter feeds. Okay, so this is the configuration. So global strategy vendor settings, this is the tw the feed, con uh, the algorithm configuration. So what you're gonna do here, you can see on the very right, notification only mode. If you're not interested in trading, just, you know, just flag this. You don't even need to configure anything else. Uh, you just need to input your email. So hello at diamondstrats.com in case you ever wanna contact me. Um, and here 
you select the keywords file that you want to use. These two files uh, you will get with the algorithm when you download it. Again, go to the website, check it out. All of the information, all of the information is there. So you will get these two files. I'm going to run the crypto one just because that's the one I'm interested in and that's the one I trust. And that's it. And that's that's all there is to it. So let me show you before we run. Let me show you the uh, the keyword CSV file, how it looks. So there we go. As I said, uh, two columns, related symbol and keywords. So for Bitcoin, for example, there we go. You see XBT and say I want to add one, you know, BTC. Uh, capitalization doesn't matter because the algorithm lowercases everything automatically and uh, checks, uh, you know, everything lowercase. So we simply save it and you hit start. You go over to the log. And that's pretty much it. So you have to wait uh, now since I'm running this in trade mode. No, actually I'm not. But since I'm running this on a portfolio, it's going to first of all download everything in my portfolio. And then you'll see the execution log here in the detailed log. So you'll see how it's saying, hey, no new tweets found or hey, I found this new tweet and what's the information? Did I find keywords, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. That's it. That's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you love this bot. There's a lot to play with it. Uh, if you have any feedback, if you find any bugs or anything, send me an email. You saw my email or uh, go ahead to Diamond Strategies website, fill out the contact form or go over to the Diamond Strategies program and click help and say report a bug and you type in your name, your email address, your message. Hey, the algo is not working, you bastard. And explain, please, what's not working. Just don't say you bastard and that's it. If you want us to fix the bug, which we obviously will, we are very on hands with all the feedback we get right now. Just tell us what's not working. And it can be a feedback about the program as well. Maybe you have a very specific configuration on your computer that causes for a weird behavior to occur. We are very thankful for any feedback of such sort because that helps us improve. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you like this video and if you want to see any else, anything else of such sort, because I think we will be creating a lot more of uh, these weird quirky algorithms uh, and giving them to you for free. So if you're interested in that, make sure to subscribe. Liking always helps just because as you can see, I only have 200 plus subscribers. So if you like, that's probably going to bump me up a little bit. So please do. And yeah, that's it. See you next in the next video. Bye.